What's going on guys? I am back with another video. I told you guys I'll be doing some cleaning today. So as I clean, I'm going to be soaking the dragons, let them hydrate. And um, I'll show you guys them as I'm hy hydrating them. Um, a little quick little snippets of all the dragons pretty much. At least the baby ones. But let's go through real fast. You've seen all these guys before. But I'll show you guys again. This is a, a hypo female. She has a nice blue back. Let me turn the flashlight on real fast. Actually, it doesn't show her any good here. Let me try to get her some natural lighting. She had a nice, nice blue barn on her back. I even go through it on her tail as well. I can't wait to see what she looks like as an adult. So first one. This one's another hypo female. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep her anymore. She has some cool looking colors on her as well. I can I can see her growing into a nice dragon. This is another one. This one has look like some nice yellow. So I think she's gonna be like a yellow with orange highlights and then blue 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 barring on her. Not as crazy as the other one, but some blue barring. And this one still needs to put on some weight. Probably gonna up her feeding. Probably got a she probably got a um, Get soaked maybe three times a week or something because she's not keeping her hydration. I'm gonna up her dubias as well. Hey, hey baby. Hey, on my YouTube video. Huh? Yeah, on my YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kizzy, kizzy. But this is another girl that I like a lot, but she also needs to put on some more weight so I'm not up there dubious and this is a genetic stripe hypo female I think I kept all hypos yeah I'm, I'm soak them a little bit more probably like three times a week just to get them holding that weight on them uh, but that's the first group I'll turn the camera back on when I get to the next group I'm gonna go ahead and clean their enclosures and redo their um, refresh their their bedding and stuff where the paper towels and new air crates so that they're in a clean environment and then get them some some food but all right let's get to the next one all right, now we have this girl here. I did an unboxing of her not too long ago. She's probably gonna be the first red female that I breed next year. Possibly, hopefully around February, she she breeds. And she's gonna be going to my dark red male. I'll show you guys him a little bit later in the video as I clean his enclosure. But yeah, that's gonna be the First female I breed for a red project. I'm trying to hide your hair as well. You go. Sometimes if the dragon's not drinking, you can just go ahead and splash them like that. And sometimes that uh, make them want to go get a drink because the water is moving. finish drinking a while playing her cage and then be back with you guys at the next set 
Alright, now I'm gonna stay along that same path with the last dragon. Here go the rest of the red group. I'll have three more that will be part of the red group as well, but they're not necessarily red themselves. Um, so, here go. Damn, there's two males in here, three females. These three right here are the females. Those two right there are the males. See these two right here are my ruby, my ruby reds from Ruby Red Reptiles. That one right there is from KP Critters. This one right here, these two right here are this one and this one are from John Galvin. Then I have my female that was uh, black and white for a while and. That's from Dustin, and then I have that G-Stripe female that I decided to put into the red group. That's from um, Spice Dragons, and I have a Whiplet that I'm going to put in to the red group as well. This group is fire, literally. <laughs> Good deal. He's going into another shed right now, so. She is also. She's starting to come. Starting to gray out. Him, her on the head. His head and arms are going into shed. Her arms and head are going to shed as well. Starting to reach maturity, he's not liking us too much, so it's probably the last time I'll bathe them all together. Take my hands down. Uh oh, look what she wanna do. She wanna blow up the spot. Little trans female. That's the only visual red trans, only visual uh, trans that I have in the group. He's he's possible head trans. She's on um, double hit, and these ones are possible hit hypo. He's the only hypo in the group. Now, here you go. Everybody about to start blowing up the spot, so I'm going to go clean their cages real fast so I can get them out of this water. And uh, we'll get to those. I'll, I'll show the other two that's going to be. Out of the three that's going to be part of this group as well, um, but they're they're not necessarily red, but other projects that lead off from the reds. All right, guys. So this is, I think the uh, fourth group. This one's kind of going to ro roll over into Whip Blitz from Reds. Um, these two right here are also part of my red project. This is the D stripe that I was telling you guys about. That's double head hypo and trans. Get her out real fast. This one that was produced by Spice Dragons. And I didn't know if I want to put her into my D stripe project or into my red project. And you guys helped me decide. You guys wanted me to go G stripe, but I bought a different I bought more G stripes so I can put that in there and go ahead and get this. This high color female into um, the project right away, and then this female right here, it's a hybrid. She comes from red pairing, but she's um, she came when I first got her. She was black and white, so she's slowly, slowly picking up some color in her. So I just want to see how her um, genetic history will show up in her babies if I um, breed her to a nice red male 
So that's what I'm gonna do with her. She's gonna be in a rare project as well. And here we go, another one blowing up the spot. The hypo trans female. She's gonna be going to my yellow project, but she's uh, possible head with blit and zero. She's actually siblings to these two. So these are whip blitz. That's a hypo whip blit male, and this is a whip blit 100% head hypo and then 66% probable head uh, zero. So they're gonna be. Um, I'm gonna put her in my red project. I'm gonna breed her to my hypo male um, to try to make some higher color reds. I will take her to my dark male because um, I want to get the color into them quicker. But they're both leatherback, so I can't do it. Um, but like I said, they're using a the bathroom in here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys one more group. It's gonna be some of my future breeders as well. I pretty much did a video on most of my future breeders. I'm gonna do the stuff that I have that I produce and I'm gonna be selling in the future. Um, I'm gonna do them off camera. It'll take me care of real quick so I can go on with my day. Um, and I also didn't wanna show them because I don't want people inquiring on them because uh, I don't have them posted on the website or anything yet. So if, you, if you're looking for anything in particular, you can go ahead and um, reach me on email or on you know, Instagram. That way I know exactly what, what you're looking for and if I have it. If I have it, I'll take pictures for you. I could do it that way, but I'm not going to um, say that I still have stuff available and then people want pictures of everything and then I never hear from them again after that. So uh, I'm actually going to probably end the video here because my battery about to die. But I'll pick up the next video showing the, um, going into the Whitbeard project. So... These two right here were the first of the Whitbill projects I showed you guys. Oh.